Hello everyone. Um, so today we're going to continue practicing uh, calculation of uh, two port parameters and uh, we're going to do it for this specific uh, circuit right here. And this time we're going to do actually eight parameters. So as I explained uh, during the class lecture, we uh, if, uh, if, if you're asked to do any of these, I will give you the equation uh, that defines what those parameters that I'm asking for are. So in this case, the A parameters is uh, when you write V1 and v I1, the voltage and current of the port 1, as a function of V2 and I2, the voltage and current of the second port. And there's a, a slight uh, deviation from the norm here is that uh, uh, it's a11 v1 minus a12 i2 and minus a22 i2 in the other equation this negative sign you have to be mindful of normally both of these are added to each other this is just a convention that we're going to follow okay so now how do we do this uh, uh, first of all let's actually explain from uh, From these equations how uh, we could define these parameters so um, a11 assuming that the current in the port 2 is 0 could be defined as v1 divided by v2 so I'm going to write that down here and start writing these definitions so a11 uh, could be defined as v1 divided by v2 uh, when i2 the current in the port 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so now we're going to move on to A12. So for the case of A12, uh, the definition would be minus V1 divided by I2 when V2 the voltage of the port 2 is equal to 0 uh, and I2 A21 would be I1 divided by V2 when the current of port 2 is equal to 0 and finally A22 could be defined as minus a i1 divided by i2 when the voltage of the second port is equal to zero. Okay, so with those definitions, now we're going to move on to uh, circuit analysis. So this is one of our nodes, this is another node, that's another node right here, another node, and this is another node. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is my ground, uh, which means that at that point this would be my V1, and this is, I'm going to use the definition for a voltage source and define what that node uh, should be labeled as and that would be this voltage right so that would be 10 to the minus 4 v2 this is the voltage of that node and now on this other side these two are actually not connected to each other so i can define another ground here uh, another reference for the second port and that would be fine um, so this is not the same ground they're actually isolated from each other so I'm gonna call it zero volt and it's a and with that then this node would be a V2 um, so just be careful here this doesn't mean that these two nodes are connected to each other by any means and these are two different references for the two ports so there's a reference one uh, and there's a reference two and for this side of the circuit, 
all the voltages could be referenced to that node and all the voltages for this side could be referenced to this node so this is our that was zero volt for this side of the circuit and this is the zero volt for the other side of the circuit now and as far as the currents uh, goes this is i1 obviously the same current passes through here so that's also i1 that's i2 this current right here is basically 50 i1 so i don't have to do anything there I'm going to call that current I3. Okay, there's only one KCL to write. And I'm going to start doing that. So KCL. And that would be the KCL for this node V2. So I2 is going into that node. And 50 I1 plus I3 are leaving the node. And we start writing equations for components. Already, we already did the equation for this component. We already did the equation for that component. So these two resistors are the only uh, components that are left. Uh, that said, we write equations for components. For the 1K, uh, we have I1 is equal to V1 minus 10 to the minus 4 v2 divided by 1000 I and uh, I can actually I can write these in terms of K and assume all the currents are in uh, milliamp so that I'm gonna just stick to 1k Uh, and then I3 is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 40K. So V2 divided by 40. So that's set. Now I can uh, quickly start calculating A11, A12, A21, and A21 uh, using these definitions and these equations that I have. So uh, for two of them, I2 has to be 0. So we're going to solve this set of circuits for two cases. The case of I2 being 0, let me actually choose. So if I2 from these set of equations, all of it, if I2 is equal to 0, then these set of equations are going to simplify. For example, this is equal to 0 immediately. So at that point, uh, 50 I1 plus I3 is equal to zero because I2 is equal to zero and uh, therefore from this I can calculate I3 as a function of uh, I1 so from, from this I3 is equal to minus 50 I1 now uh, I2 I uh, for uh, for when I2 is 0, the two uh, parameters that I can calculate are A11 and A21. So in one case, I have to calculate V1 over V2, and for the other one, I have to calculate I1 over V2. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so now I know how to write I3 as a function of um, I1. So this equation actually becomes minus... 50i equal to v2 divided by 40. Therefore, um, that's i1. v2 is equal to minus 2000i1. And now from this definition, A21, which is I1 over B2, becomes 1 minus 1 over 2000. And keep in mind, since I used kilo, the unit here it would be um, 1 over ohm if everything was 
ohm but this i used milliamp so this this would be milli mu so generally with the unit would be uh, one over ohm but this is milli one over ohm because i used uh, i as uh, milliamp So now, in in order to calculate a one two, I'm sorry, a one one. Uh, I'm going to use this equation, and now I know how to write i one as a function of v two, uh, coming from this. So I replace that right here. So i one is v two divided by minus two thousand. So it would be minus v two divided by two thousand is equal to uh, v1 minus v2 divided by 10,000 so we move things around v1 would be equal to or multiply both sides by 10,000 we don't have to do that move it to the other side that would be v2 divided by 10,000 minus v2 divided by 2,000 so that would be v2 1 over 10,000 10 to the 4 minus 1 over 2 and so here we can see that therefore we get 4 minus 4 so if that's equal to minus 4 v2 over 10,000 and now therefore a11 would be equal to which is v1 over v2 it's minus 4 divided by 10,000 or minus 1 over 2500 so that's a11 now uh, we have the two a21 and a11 that was the, the values when i2 uh, was equal to 0. Now I'm going to try to fit all the calculation for a12 and a21 here in this box. I'm going to use a different color to signify that. Uh, we are making different assumptions. Okay. So let's so now here V2 is 0. And I assume V2 is 0. In that case as soon as v2 is 0 i3 is also 0 so from this i3 is 0 and therefore this equation simplifies and becomes i2 equal to 50 i1 and i21 is minus i1 over i2 so a21 is equal to minus 1 over 50 that's that now I'm looking for a 1 2 which I have to find v1 over i2 with a negative v1 over i2 so from what I have here this goes away this equation turns into this i1 is actually equal to v1 v2 is already 0 and I know how i1 
and I2 are related to each other. So from this, I know that I2 divided by 50 equal to V1. From all of that, A12 is minus... Um, 1 over 50 again. These two are equal to each other. And that concludes our calculation. Uh, so let's just recap. What uh, I did here was uh, slightly different than what I had done in the two lectures that I put online for a calculation of uh, the two port parameters. You could in, in the first one, what I did, in the first lecture, what I did, if you recall, I actually started from uh, uh, the circuit analysis, wrote the equations, and then manipulated equations to bring them into uh, this form, and then from that you can get all the uh, A parameters or any parameters that you're looking for. So I just did pure manipulation of these equations. In the second one, I actually used these definitions and then started playing with the circuit in order to uh, directly without the need for writing these equations directly find out these from the circuit making um, for example i2 equal to zero by leaving the circuit open and then uh, kind of finding out how things would be uh, like if i wanted to do it right now for example if this circuit is left open here then the current that is passing through here is basically going to be 50i is going to pass through 40k so that voltage could be directly calculated um, and from that meaning it would be this 40k times 50i1 so it would give you minus uh, 200 times i1 and Minus two thousand, minus two thousand I one, and from that you can calculate uh, the the value for that voltage, and then move it here and calculate this voltage, and from that calculate all the currents that you're looking for, and then calculate a one, uh, a one one, and a a two one, just using these. Now. Uh, what I did here differently in this lecture was to start writing the circuit analysis equations and the algorithm but then halfway instead of just continue manipulating them sometimes it's easier to then put these conditions in these equations and it simplifies the equations and you can uh, find these faster so it's kind of a halfway using the equations and then don't bother manipulating them all the way even though I think for this set of equations just direct manipulation wouldn't be that difficult but anyway I wanted to uh, show you uh, a practice an exercise where you could start with these set of equations but then use these conditions to find out uh, the parameters I uh, hope this has been helpful uh, thank you very much